Hello everyone, this is Lori Spears with Travel Tips. And today I'm actually sailing on Holland America's new ship, the new Staten Dam. It's absolutely gorgeous. Of course, I tried to do this on the deck, but it's a little windy in some of the more beautiful areas, but it was noisy. But I'm in the dining room, and if you can see behind me, the beautiful wine rack in this dining room. This is one of their specialty dinings. The food on board is amazing. But I'm gonna leave it right there for cruises because this is a whole nother chapter. Today, our travel tips is about visiting European cities and mostly not being afraid to go ahead and book that trip if you've never been to Paris, Barcelona, Amsterdam. And here's some tips. One, budget for your trip ahead of time. It can be affordable depending on if you've got it all laid out for yourself. Also, check the visa requirements. Usually there's not a problem for a US citizen, but still check, you never know. Things change all the time. Read up on the destination, and I don't mean just a destination guide. Do some little research like, uh, what are the top fun places to go? What's the fun places to go off the beaten path? Also pack light. You're gonna do a four or five day trip. You're going to see a city. It's not gonna be extravagant. You're going to appreciate it later if you pack light before the trip. Sorry for looking at my notes. Also, book your accommodations early and your flights early. You'll get a better price if you don't wait to the last minute. So book that trip out when you know you want to get away for something special and stick to it and just go. I can remember to give you a personal experience. The first time I went to Paris, we just booked actually it was thrown to me. Hey, I booked you on a trip to go to Paris. It's only four nights, five nights. I can't remember. And I was like, wow, I'm going to go all the way to Europe just for that. But I'm so glad I did it because I got to experience P Paris. Of course, I went back. It could stay longer another time, but I didn't deprive myself of that quick trip. And sometimes there's special airfares out there and hotel accommodations that is definitely worth the trip. Also, the hop on hop off buses when you get to a city is a really good way your first day to see the city and see the places that you want to go back to. I always do that in almost every city I go to and I love the adventure of it. You don't have to stay a whole week to go see a beautiful city like I mentioned before. You can do a short trip and what's very good about Europe is you can do two cities in a short amount of time if you want to. You could do Paris three nights and take the shuttle train to London and do three nights there. It's almost the same to fly into Paris and out of London as it would be round trip into the same city. So make a little adventure and do three nights in each place and get those European cities under your belt. I must say Europe is my favorite place. It's very romantic. It's very educational. It's very old and you get to see how there is things older out there in the world than just in the United States. Let's see, uh, another thing is to take a long melatonin. You can buy at the drugstore for your jet lag. I'm a faithful one on this one because you do have a little bit of a time difference and you'll feel that jet lag at maybe the first or second day and then you're over it. But don't let that stop you. You go out and visit and tour and see that city. Like when I told you to do the de uh, destination research, like when we were going to Amsterdam, we found out about the canals and all the different ways to go about. Walk, get out there. I mean, you're gonna get lost. It's okay, it happens. You'll, you're, everybody has a cell phone today. Get your international plan turned on and just get on your GPS and you'll find your way back. That's what makes it so much fun. You can ATM, don't worry about the rate of exchange. You can ATM all over the cities and they'll give you back the money in the exchange they use in that country. And don't worry about the language. Everyone speaks English and people are scared off from going to see these cities because of those two things. The money, what am I gonna do? What if they don't speak English? I've never been anywhere I wasn't able to communicate with someone. So get out there, do your adventures. I hope these travel tips help you and I'll see you out there. Thank you.